The Influenza Virus by Katie Quinlisk, Sandra King and Michelle Nolan. The Influenza Virus belongs to the family Orthomizoviridae, which are a family of RNA viruses. There are three types of the Influenza Virus, Influenza Virus A, B and C. These are grouped based on their core proteins. It is an enveloped animal virus with an outer membrane surrounding the genetic material. Here is a diagram displaying the structure of the influenza virus. You can see the core proteins being enveloped with an outer membrane surrounding the genetic material. Type A is the most common of the influenza virus. It causes the most serious epidemics and it infects multiple species. Type B e is less severe and generally only infects humans. This type can sometimes cause epidemics. Type C is a milder form. It infects humans and swine. It is not known to be connected to causing epidemics. This pathogen causes the influenza virus infection, commonly referred to as the flu. Symptoms of influenza virus are similar to those associated with the common cold. Patients can feel feverish, experience chills, coughing, a sore throat, nasal discomfort, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, vomiting and diarrhea. However, this is more common in children than adults. Some of the symptoms are listed here. While anyone can get sick, from the influenza virus and become severely ill, some people are more likely to experience severe flu illness. Young children, adults aged 65 years and older, pregnant women and people with certain chronic medical conditions are among these groups of people who are at a high risk of serious influenza virus complications. The influenza virus is transmitted through droplets transported in the air. These droplets are called aerosols. When they are breathed in, they enter the upper respiratory tract where they initiate infection. The incidence rates of influenza virus in Ireland according to the HSPC are shown in this graph. Numbers rise above the medium intensity threshold in the first weeks of 2015 and 2016. Little to no cases were notified in the summer months, with most cases occurring in winter. The statistics for winter 2015 and 2016 show almost 2,000 cases of the infection. Over 150 of these were admitted to ICU, with 84 causing fatalities. The GP will diagnose the patient with influenza virus based on the symptoms displayed. The body should overcome the infection itself with the aid of over-the-counter flu remedies. If the symptoms persist, the doctor may take a swab of the infected area for further examination. Rest and fluid are most important in the treatment of the influenza virus. Rest is essential for building back up the immune system especially if the illness has been severe. Fluid prevents the body from becoming dehydrated. Antiviral treatment is used to treat and prevent influenza. The best antiviral medicine depends on the type of influenza virus. Acetaminophen can relieve fever, headache and muscle aches, which are all symptoms of the influenza virus and can sometimes be distributed as a treatment form. This diagram shows two treatment methods, one being vaccines and another being antiviral drugs. Most people who get the influenza virus will recover in several days, but some people will develop complications as a result of the virus. A wide range of complications can be caused by influenza virus infection of the upper respiratory tract, the nasal passages and the throat, and also the lower respiratory tract the lungs. Sinus and ear infections are examples of moderate complications with pneumonia a serious flu complication that can result from either influenza virus infection alone or from co-infection flu virus or bacteria. Other possible serious complications triggered by the flu or the influenza virus 
can include the inflammation of the heart, myocarditis, inflammation of the brain, muscle, tissue and multi-organ failure, for example, the respiratory and kidney failure. There are many steps that can be taken to prevent the spread of the influenza virus infection. Avoid close contact. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. When you are sick, keep your distance from others to protect them from getting sick too. Stay home when you are sick. If possible, stay, ho stay home from work, school and errands when you are sick. This will help prevent spreading your illness to others. Cover your mouth and nose. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing. It may prevent those around you from getting sick by preventing transmission of the virus. Clean your hands. Washing your hands often will help protect you from germs. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand rub. Avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth. Germs are often spread when a person touches something that is contaminated with germs and then touches their eyes, nose or mouth. Practice other good health ha habits. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces at home, work or school, especially when someone is ill. Get plenty of sleep, be physically active, manage your stress, drink plenty of fluids and eat nutritious food. Here is a poster providing more tips on how to prevent the spread of the influenza virus because prevention is cure. Thanks for taking the time to look at our video about the influenza virus.